true. A lot of people are asking because they love me and they ask me about a man named John McCain. And if you want that to tell you about, should I or not? Yes? Yes? So I have to be honest, I've never liked them much. Hasn't been for me. I've really probably never will. But there are certain reasons for it, and I'll tell you. Uh, and I do this to save a little time with the press later on. John McCain received the, uh, a fake and phony dossier. Do you hear about the dossier? It was paid for by crooked Hillary Clinton, right? And John McCain got it. He got it. And what did he do? He didn't call me. He turned it over to the FBI, hoping to put me in jeopardy. And uh, that's not the nicest thing to do. You know, when those people say, because I'm a very loyal person. John McCain campaigned for years to repeal and replace Obamacare, for years, in Arizona. Great state. I love the people of Arizona. But he campaigned for years for repeal and replace. So did Rob. So did a lot of senators. When he finally had the chance to do it, he voted against repeal and replace. He voted against at 2 o'clock in the morning. We remember thumbs down. We said, what the hell happened? He said two hours before he was voting to repeal and replace, and he went thumbs down. Badly hurting the Republican Party, badly hurting our nation, and hurting many sick people who desperately wanted good, affordable health care. We would have had it. This would have saved our country over a trillion dollars in entitlements, and we would have ended up making a great health care plan, frankly, with the Democrats, because they would have had no choice. McCain didn't get the job done for our great vets and the VA, and they knew it. That's why when I had my dispute with him, I had such incredible support from the vets and from the military. The vets were on my side because I got the job done. I got choice and I got accountability. Accountability meaning somebody mistreats our vets. For 45 years they were trying. They mistreat our vets. And we say, hey, you're fired. Get out. Can't mistreat our vets. They never got it done. And choice. For years and years, decades, they wanted to get choice. You know what choice is? You're a military person. You're one of our great people. To me, one of the great people. For many decades, they couldn't get it done. It was never done. I got it five months ago. I got it done. Choice. Instead of waiting in line, a vet fought for us. Fought in these tanks. Fought for us. Instead of waiting in line for two days, two weeks, two months, people waiting on line, they're not very sick. By the time they see a doctor, they're terminally ill. We gave them choice. If you have to wait for any extended period of time, you go outside, you go to a local doctor, we pay the bill, you get yourself better, go home to your family. And we got it passed, we got it done. And the other thing is we're in a war in the Middle East that McCain pushed so hard. He was calling Bush, President Bush, all the time, get into the Middle East, get into the Middle East. So now we're into that war for seven trillion dollars. Thousands and thousands of our people have been killed, millions of people overall. And frankly, we're straightening it out now, but it's been a disaster for our country. We've spent tremendous wealth, tremendous wealth, and tremendous lives in that war. And what do we have? It's worse than it was 19 years ago. I call them the endless wars. 19 years ago when we started. So John McCain left it. I endorsed him at his request, and I gave him the kind of funeral that he wanted, which as president, I had to approve. I don't care about this. I didn't get thank you. That's okay. We sent him on the way, but I wasn't a fan of John McCain. So now what we could say is now we're all set. I don't think I have to answer that question, but the press keeps, what do you think of McCain? What do you think? Not my kind of guy, but some people like him, and I think that's great.